And it's not just the plastics that you can see. I'm going out on the water in search of microplastics. The clue's in the name, isn't it? They are microplastics. They're absolutely tiny. Why do we need to care that they're in our ocean? Well, it's a very good question. Why would we care about something that we can almost not see? Now, it's taken months of rehabilitation, but finally, they're going back into the ocean. This is the ITV Evening News with Kylie Pentelow. Good evening. Congratulations are tonight pouring in from around the country and across the globe after the announcement that the Duchess of Sussex has given birth to a baby boy. He was born just before half past five this morning, weighing seven pounds, three ounces. The Duke of Sussex was by his wife's side. Their son is now seventh in line to the throne. Well, a beaming Prince Harry called it the most amazing experience he could ever possibly have imagined. He described his baby son as absolutely to die for, adding that he is so proud of his wife. Meghan and the as yet unnamed boy are both said to be doing well. Well, our royal editor Chris Ship is in Windsor for us. Chris. It's along the lines of body dysmorphia, so I'd be looking at cyclists going, or he's really, really skinny, or he's really, really veiny. I want to be like that. I'd see photos of myself and go, I don't look like that at all. So looking at those pictures would essentially make you feel like you weren't as good as them? Yeah, so it's always comparing myself to others and having a very poor personal image and self-acceptance. I'm going to ask you a question now that you don't have to answer. OK. You were talking about your hormonal levels and your relationship with your fiancé. This. I'm presuming has affected your sexual relationship with Absolutely. her as well. There is a possibility that I might never be able to have children because I really did plummet my hormones that low. They might never rebound. Um, and if I'm honest, we haven't had a sexual relationship in three and a half years. And they're coming along to keep their beaches and their community clean because the plastics are washing up from the sea and then they just want to take it out of the beach and make sure it doesn't go back into Why the sea Why not on again. such a gorgeous beach yes. as well? Right, let's go over. If we can find her, let's find Emily, who actually is Rob's daughter. It's a bit of a family affair cleaning up this beach. Here we go. Here's Emily. Emily, sorry, can I just interrupt you here? Sorry, um, now, we've, we've seen with your dad, Rob, there, yeah. there's some of the big plastic here that's found. But yeah. as we saw in my report, it's not just the big bits that no. we're worried about. Yeah. You're training to be a marine biologist, aren't right, yeah, you? Yeah, just finished. Right, <laughs> OK, so why do we need to worry about the little bits? Well, as you can see, all of these you can see and you'd find them on the beach. They're easy to remove. But when we get the smaller bits of plastics, we can just see over here, we've got a go mimicked bit of um, beach in this bucket. Okay. And the children have been sieving out the microplastics. So as you can see, you wouldn't usually see these bits on the beach. But when you really look carefully, there's actually thousands of bits of tiny plastic actually hidden in the sand. It's not an easy place to reach. More than eight and a half thousand miles, passing icebergs bigger than cities, and only whales for company. All to arrive on this island, Port Lockroy, no bigger than a football pitch, with many webbed feet inhabitants. Do they ever get cold? No, actually they get hot right. and they will just be panting and the colour of their feet will change to try and regulate the uh, blood flow and therefore cool themselves down. What's it like for a girl from Western Supermare to land in Antarctica? Um, it's my dream, really. It's absolutely incredible. Yes, yeah, slightly different from Western. The beaches are a little bit different. There's a lack of donkeys here. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a penguin here while we're doing this interview, just having a look. Clive, not only are you flying the balloon, you're also coordinating <laughs> here. Not only have you got someone asking you questions, but you're flying it's a balloon, not, coordinating the others. It's not, it's not really pressure. You know, this is why we do it. We love it. Oh, wow. a bit like the nearly missing this. <laughs> Can you just tell me how you do it? You've got two controls, haven't you? What are you actually doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm rotating the balloon around using a turning vent. Right. And I've got the burners. So you turn them off, you go down, you turn them on, you go up. You proposed, didn't you, in a hot air balloon? We did. It was out of the bath fiesta. And... Um, I wanted to get to 10,000 feet, but we were going straight towards Salisbury Plain, and we ended up going over Salisbury Plain, and I thought, will you marry me? And I said, hurry up. And she said, yeah, I said, you're flying, I'm navigating. Wow, <laughs> but it was good. that's some proposal. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're going on a bit of a tour of the site. So we are, Tell me we how all the, the planning is going. We've got a new thing called Carmageddon, where you sit in a car and you watch the films. You oh, see? amazing. Look at them. All the time we're inventing stuff, new things. And 47 years later, and we're still doing it. Amazing. It is. Every year you say to me, this is the best lineup yet. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I think this is the best lineup yet. <laughs> oh, so you agree with me? As long this as well. year. Fantastic. Well Are done. you pleased with the lineup? <laughs> oh, I'm a big Ed Sheeran fan. I have to confess. Are you? And for me, he's brilliant. Yeah. He's absolutely brilliant. Every song's a winner, isn't it? So, will you be watching Ed Sheeran? Then? Oh my God! Yes. Where Where will you be watching? You don't presumably stand in the middle of the crowd <laughs> with everyone else, do you? I do sometimes, actually. All day today, police have been carrying away climate change activists and dismantling their blockades around London. The total number of arrests across five days of protests is now 682. The actor, Emma Thompson, spent a second day with demonstrators, saying she felt inspired. Richard Pallow reports. Do you remember when we were in the studio the other day and I said, we were talking about kind of greatest fears yeah. and challenging each I other. I remember that very And what well. would be the worst thing that you could do? Yeah. Your greatest fear. Wing walking. Wing walking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's going to be you. Hello. Right, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I'm proud of you. He's definitely grinning his head off. He's got a huge <laughs> grin. I can definitely He's see him coming back again. He's loving it. How are you feeling? Amazing. <laughs> but you didn't give him an easy uh, time, did you? It was really fun. I had a brilliant, brilliant time. <laughs> so you'd happily take him again then. He, he, was, a, he was a good passenger, Absolutely. a good wing walker. When's your turn? That's right. Right then, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah.